welcome back to my channel guys before we start the video i want to say a big thank you to fireworks entertainment for coming through and we doing the collaboration bro i have so much fun doing that video <laughs> i look forward in we doing some more outdoor cooking video on the channel and as i always said to my subscriber if you have any idea or any content you want to see me upload on the channel please feel free to drop it in the comment section and i will definitely do the vlog for you. doing the content for you guys because i'm not only doing the content for me alone i'm doing the content for you guys as well so in today's video i'm gonna do a cow tail with bean and i'm gonna do some baked potato so i'm gonna bake the potato whole and make some garlic butter sauce just to drizzle over it just to give it some flavor and and stuff like that and i'm gonna do some steamed vegetable so that i want me i go look about today on the channel so guys here we have the cow tail so me clean off here and wash off with some vinegar so me have me all purpose season i do some meat season i'm using some chop up onion thyme garlic ginger pepper pimento seed so i'm gonna go ahead and add in my season them season so I'm using the board spoon just to mix in the season and the herbs and the spice going to use just a little bit of the browning just to add a little bit of color to the meat so we're just mixing in the browning This is the cow tail, so just rubbing in the season, guys. Mm -hmm. So, I'm just done seasoning up the cow tail, and this is the cow tail half a seasoning. So, I'm gonna go just put it in the refrigerator and make it go and marinate before I start cook. I'm gonna even catch up the fire now and cook the peas with the cow tail. So apparently I'm trying to catch the fire now. So let me just put on the pot for the peas. So I'm gonna check pony. Okay. So I'm gonna wash the peas. So I'm gonna add the peas in the water with some garlic. guys today me i use the pressure cooker i do everything outside because i know cow tail can be stubborn at that time so me i go just run it through the pressure cooker for at least one 10 to 15 minutes so me i go add some cooking oil for the pot hot so me i go add in the cow tail in the pot
I'm just going to give them a little stir before we add no water or anything in the pressure cooker. Set them good in the pot before I actually put on the cover. Then I check on the peas. And then the next thing now, I'm going to wash off the Irish potato and then put them in the baking tin. Put them in the oven so they can start bake. After they done bake, me make the garlic butter sauce to them. I wash off them as me just say. So just add this, this little bit. Plus, me probably do other stuff. Probably me steam some rice. So today, me go bake the Irish potato inside of the house. So the oven, me just turn it on. So it's at 250. So, I'm going to check on it now. Yeah, I'm on, and it's getting hot. So I'm just putting in them. So I'm going to give them 20 minutes and then check back on them. So, I'm going to steam the vegetable. So, I'm going to use the half stick of butter in the vegetable and some thyme. I'm going to steam the vegetables. So I'm using the half stick of butter. Let the butter go and melt on. Before I add the vegetables and the Guys, we are checking on the potato and they are coming on good. So, what may I do now? I'm going to make the, the garlic butter sauce for them now. I'm going to um, to add additional flavor to my garlic butter sauce. I'm going to just um, use some green thyme in it for the flavor where me I look for in the garlic butter sauce. I am checking on the steam veg. So practically the veg done steam now. So I'm going to take it off and then I'm going to add on the next pot for the garlic butter sauce. So I'm going to make the pressure cooker go and cool off before I open it because I'm just take off it to cool down. So in the meantime, just I use up the coal fire same speed. the garlic butter so I have one stick butter I go use for the garlic butter so I make the butter go and melt so I melt out the butter to make this garlic butter sauce so and you see me have little time me I use I have the garlic and this are the beef 
bean with the cow tail. So it's a finished melty butter. Finish melt out the the the, um, the rest of the butt, the stick butt. So eventually we are gonna put it over the potato and then put it back in the oven, the potato in the oven, just to just dry a little bit. So when we put it back in the oven, we give it like five minutes. So these are the potato them with the garlic butter sauce on them. So I'm gonna add them back in the oven. So guys, me put on about the cow tail on the fire. So I have the pepper there in it. We add flavor to it. So I'm gonna roll them little dumpling they add in a heat and then re-season the pot. So now I just add in my little spinners them in the pot. Five minutes gone now, so I'm all right now because the butter melted on them with the garlic. So basically, turn off the stove, and that's it for today. For re season of the pot, I'm using some tomato, some sweet pepper. Some scallion. Now I'm adding in the tomato, the scallion, and the sweet pepper. I'm gonna add the beans. So now I'm adding in the beans. So you know me have a always shown the inside of the pot. So we know now we have to see inside of the cow tail pot. The cow tail. So I'm gonna show you more. Or you know, sir. Yeah, man. Guys, can you see? It is smelling so good, and everything basically done cooked now. So. As I did say, I did cook some rice, I did the rice already inside. So, 
just this may wait point to dry down just a little bit more Everything finish. The new vegetable. And as I said, I did um, steam some rice, so the rice done. And the potato. So guys, we come to the end of the video. And if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. So when I upload the content, you will receive the content from my channel.